Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video um, of the inside of our Airstream. I haven't even, I'm just doing this really quick. Um, so our uh, base camp here, you can see. So um, nothing special about this. This is a shoe carrier from, um, sorry, it's from um, Target. Let's see. It's like a harvest home thing. It's been great because um, we can get everything in and out of there. Um, Flip flops, hiking shoes, all for a family of four mostly goes in there. We don't use the front for much of anything besides the kids coloring and breakfasts. Um, it has been very handy. So you can see what we have on the bottom here. This, uh, is, um, an extra seat that we have when we, the whole family does sit here. We've got kid, kid, me, dad. Um, we've got a trash can right here. Uh, that's kind of a quick, quick one for when we're taking the other trash out or if that one's moved outside coffee. These are things I got from target. Um, that's a uh, more coffee equipment and camera equipment. That's a catch all wicker bag for toys. This is our Dyson vacuum and uh, LaCroix waters. And then some other LaCroix back there. And then this kind of just kicks back here. And in the morning, this ends up being just a, a staging area to grab <laughs> hiking snacks. Um, and then random toys end up here all the time, which we're totally fine with because we don't use it that much. Barely use the microwave. <laughs> Um, and then in our fridge, we've got like meat and things on top, salad, cheese, eggs, bubble waters, or that's what our kids call them, milk, protein bar, um, milk, you know, um, salami and yogurt. So that's kind of what we eat. From here, I've got, it's a bit messy, kids vitamins are back in here. Um, this is all of our cookware, cast iron uh, it's a lodge. We have a, a Dutch oven, a skillet, and then some nesting skillets with hot with two hot pads in there. Um, lighter. And then we got these stuck on from container store, I think. And they fit in here really well to, to actually utilize the space in that corner. And then down here, same thing. Tea, tagine. We found these minis at Walmart. It's so exciting when we saw that. Got this at Walmart, or not, at the container store. Um, these are great. Um, so they've got, um, like these dividers, which are fantastic. And then I found this just kind of grab all bag, I think also a container store. So this kind of has our, like a couple of chips, um, tortillas, tea, marshmallows for those essential s'mores. And let's see if I can do this one handed, two handed, sorry. Okay. Um, this is from Ruggable. Um, we use this area here for our, uh, chip type things and snacks. Um, these are amazing for both chip clips, um, hanging clothes. Um, yeah, whatever you need. Um, before I got these from container store, these just C hooks, we were using these. Um, this is our garbage bag, um, that we use over here is um, I like to keep my protein shake stuff here. Um, we have these, haven't used them that much. And then uh, jackets end up thrown, being thrown up there. Uh, these I just changed out. I use the main holes. I hang my purse here usually. Um, our fly swatter. So you can see that. These I got from Anthropology because I thought the kids would love them. And they do add just like a little pop of art, I guess. And you probably noticed I have some decorative items here. These are fake. Um, and I got all this from Amazon. Up here, we have, um, this is nice because it can come in and out. Um, we can take it outside. Um, so it's just easy grab and go. And we need to take this hook. We're going to grind it down and stick it right here. So see, that's kind of an overhang. We're going to cut this off and take it there and stick it there so that this can actually hang over there. Um, this is spare ziploc -y type bags. This, um, what is it right now? The extra hot pad, random catch-all stuff. And then from here on back, it's blankets, diapers. These are amazing. We absolutely love these. Let's see if I can demonstrate. They're a light. Um, let's see if I can show you. Okay, so a fan, a light that has different settings. And then in the back, there's like this, you can actually put essential oils there to, <laughs> if you need to freshen up your space. Um, they are rechargeable. 
So that's the, what goes in there. Um, and then this, they, they hang wherever you want, or it flips down and you can stand it up. So this um, is from, gosh, where is this from? My husband found them. Um, anyway, if you want to know, I'll maybe put it in a comment Oop, below here. And then for the family um, bed setup, which works for us, um, this is up in the lounge setting and you can easily lay back, put your feet up, no problem. Um, what we did was we got these, uh, I bought these from REI and then my husband drilled it into that snap thing there. So there was minimal hardware required just to, you can actually use just a screwdriver and get it in there. So this bed you'll notice has our kid pillow, dad pillow, my pillow, kid pillow. And then our system also is that in the mornings when you change, you just stuff your pajamas into each respective pillow so we can find them every night. Uh, that's a stereo up there. And then up here are blankets, first aid kit. Um, what's in here? I think that's, uh, this is my running stuff. I, I, I like to run. So I have like extra sporty shoes and sports equipment. We haven't found a good way to utilize this. Um, up, oh, and then another thing there. Um, my, we just use packing cubes. Um, husband's is a bit better organized because his is shaped a bit differently. And then this is our library for the kids, all kinds of books, more than we need for this trip. And then a little catch all for kids toys. Um, down here, these are the pillow shams that came with our duvet cover up there. Oh, by the way, and that what's, what's rolled back is a, uh, mattress cover king size. Um, and then we got a duvet cover, which came with these pillows. So they kind of work like little curtains, one kid clothes, and that includes their towel and a rain jacket and another kid's clothes, which also includes, um, all of their, oh, but, and I made these little, um, things cause my kids can't read, but when I showed them these little pictures, they were able to fully figure out what goes in each one. Um, so yeah. And then even back further in there. Um, that's staging for later on in our trip. So we hardly ever access that. We are going to probably change the snap netting to a, um, uh, zip netting. And then down in here is where we put the sink cover when not in use. And then below that we have my husband's extra shoes and our laundry at night. We move that laundry out to here. Um, when we move this back into bed mode. Okay, what else? Um, these fit perfectly here, which has been a godsend. Um, got this here. Oh, and then we have the motion centers. I for, probably forgot to mention that. Um, gosh, cutting board. This is the dish uh, stuff that we absolutely love. It unfolds and is a dish drying rack. Been fantastic. This is from our old Airstream. It still fits in there. Um, and this I got from Container Store also and it fits back in there. So we still haven't quite utilized everything in here. Um, so that's how this, this, this space is a little tight. We probably need to minimize and do some stuff there. My husband wants to change these out. I put this hook here for a tea towel. We put, um, this is cooking utensils, plates, um, silverware, salt and pepper seasoning. Um, what else? Napkins. Uh, yeah. Napkins. Oh, cut smaller cutting board right there. And then here again, we've got this. Um, this is what like couscous ghee. Uh, we cook with ghee primarily. We usually use uh, bacon grease to cook with. Oh, and then you can see the trail mix back there and our cast iron grill that I probably need to put in with the trail mix. Um, and then my chia seeds, let me put those back in there. We found that these blue shop towels were fantastic. And then whoop, down here, we've got our cups and this is our like colander slash, um, uh, stock pot. All right. Not sure. If, oh, and then our shower. 
Um, we haven't done many modifications or anything. Uh, we did add this eco thing. Um, got some Dr. Bronner's and a Matador pouch. I love these Matador pouches, by the way. Um, what else? And usually soap sits right here. Um, these have been falling. <laughs> Just got to not load them up too much. Um, this is a little mesh bag that I got. Oh, those are flossers. Um, what else? The only other modification, this is um, our bidet system. <laughs> this is called a Kulo cleaner. Um, you can see Kulo clean. Um, this is actually for hiking, but you know, works well here and you got a dedicated small water bottle. You basically, when you've done your business, you put this on the top and then squirt your bottom for a travel bidet. And the kids leave these flossers everywhere. Um, teak floor mat is great. The only downside is you have to take it up and uh, replace the um, plug. Um, I use this pack towel, which is awesome. This is the ultralight version. Then I have a face towel, which is separate for daily use. And actually, I stopped using those. Um, uh, the face, I stopped using this really because I now use just disposables, which is kind of nice because then I have a dispose. Once I'm done wiping my face, um, and actually with a makeup remover and the facial wipe cleaner, um, I actually then take the uh, face wipe and I'll wipe down the sink because usually some um, toothbrush residue will get left in the sink because we often have that sink. This is often sitting here at night. This right here is sitting there. So the kids will spit right next to it. You can see it right there. And I'll just wipe that down right here too. So I gotta, I gotta clean up, like I said. Okay, um, I think I've covered everything. Um, so these videos are always hard to make because uh, we're always in such a rush. Um, but I think I've covered everything. We haven't done any other modifications. On the fan up here, we did add uh, a dark cover and an automatic close, and that was from the dealership. I'll show you our outdoor setting too. Oh, I'll turn off all the lights. We're not getting as much solar here in the shade, so my husband has been running the generator every day. Um, <laughs> uh, got this from Target. These are just waterproof things. They're, we use these solar lanterns a lot from Osprey. Oh, let me get some shoes on. I have them right here. Burks. Oh, thanks. Um, okay, so generator there. My husband thinks it's too loud. Um, so these are from Osprey. These are fantastic. I'm so glad I got these. I initially got them for the kids, but these we use all the time. Considering we're not getting much solar here, you can see it's kind of treed over. We're getting okay being in this spot. Um, but we're using those. So this is the quick set escape sky, uh, which has been fantastic for the bugs. Um, our outdoor setup, what else about our outdoor setup? We've got this contraption. This is more my husband's stuff, outdoor grill. Yeti's been nice to have for carrying my husband's beers. And if we have anything we want to pick up when we're out in town, and keep refrigerated. Hey, Bob, can you open that up actually and show the ice packs that we use? What are those? Yetis? Okay. They're expensive, but I got them on sale like half price at one point. It's the only reason I bought them. This is the regular ice pack, just Yeti, Yeti charges double. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they just fit in your ice. Pack. All right. Oh, and by the way, for the leveler stuff, the leveler system, um, we've got these guys and the Anderson hitches. Did we have those too? Yeah, we do actually. Yeah, you can see. Oh, we've got the chocks on right now, but we don't have the Anderson hitch. Oh, lovelers. Um, what else? Just Chairs. Okay. All right. Um, what else? Um, what is this thing called? Bob has this. Hey, Bob, what are the fire setup? What is oh, this? Outland Fireball has been great. We actually haven't used a wood fire pit. No. We it's just forgot big, to buy firewood. Yeah. So we've had s'mores and fires. There's a propane tank inside of there. I just got a cover for it. So. so you can set your drinks on top of your propane tank. And then you said the water carriers have been fantastic. Yeah, they're great. 
We have two of these, so these have been nice to have. And what's this table? Uh, that's the Alps, Alps Mountaineering. Mountaineering dining table. Okay, my husband absolutely loves that. This is my ultralight hiking tent that I got for a upcoming solo hike I'm going to do. It's called a Duplex, uh, sorry, a Z-Pax brand Duplex tent, in case you're wondering what that is. And then other kids set up. I found Polly Pockets are great because we've got two girls. Um, and they love to sit here so they can meet the campground kids. So, you guys working on your ranger packets? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I want to keep playing. But then it okay. The All right, we need to go get your ranger packets Mommy, today. Yeah, I made stickers from this. Very nice. I'm sure the ranger will love it. Okay. Um, oh, and then when we travel for the kids, um, we do have um, phones with music on them, but nothing else. There's no CD players in this day and age. Um, and then I got these craft bins that we usually kind of have staged a bit better for our road trips. Um, so these have been great because then they can just grab their own toys. And these are kind of usually set up a bit more side by side. So those have been great for road trips. That's our GoPro. Um, yeah. And then of course the rest is probably your preference. I often sit up here and do my scrapbooking when we're on road trips. So I've got all kinds, that's my scrapbooking setup. Um, and I, I just kind of buy stickers, that's my souvenir, and put them in my book, um, which actually I'm having a lot of fun with. I'll show you what I do. Um, so it's actually called the Wanderlust Passport from Bobo Design Studio. And let's see, kind of this is how I do our, um, our stuff. So kind of what I do. So you can see all kinds of stickers and oh this is um oh where is it um i have it it's called an instax printer um and so you can see i just buy all these stickers do my little drawings those are those are our keys <laughs> to our airstream um and then i go back and fill these in later so this is how as a family i kind of keep track of our travels um and then i'm falling behind as you can see i kind of printed out a few things but have yet to fill in details, which I, I keep on um, apps on my phone. So, yeah. So this is from, gosh, I am so far behind. <laughs> um, and then we're going to be, you know, for the fourth. And so I just go to places like Hobby Lobby and stuff for that. So anyway, that was all probably very specialized. I said this is going to be a quick video. Um, but I think that's kind of how we camp. So anyway, I'm happy to answer any questions or if you saw something that you want to know more about. Once I post this, I'll, I'll try to say more about, um, about what we do. Um, what else? We have a broom. I'm trying to think of what else we bring. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's our style. Um, hope this helps you. Bye.